everyone and welcome to my ultimate Christmas vlog. It is still November but I'm starting decorating today because obviously I'm gonna be in Japan when this is posted. Like literally I'm already there now. So maybe you should like follow my Instagram and TikTok so you can see what I'm doing. Little plug there. We've got all the decorations out of the roof because that's where we keep them. They're all like just sitting by the stairs and I have to take them all downstairs. But we're gonna set up the trees Trees, plural, yes. We have two trees with two different colour themes. It's going to be great. So we're going to set those up together. I also do have a Christmas book that I'm going to start reading as well. And I have to do my Christmas shopping and then wrap all the Christmas gifts. So it's going to be a fun time. I am excited to get in the Christmas spirit. So let's do this. Okay, so we're downstairs. We've brought all the stuff down. We've got the tree. It's big. It's gonna go in this corner here. And then we also have all the other decorations everywhere. There's Phoebe hiding behind the box. She's got on her Christmas clothes, don't you Phoebe? It says, Santa's little yelper. You can't really see that, cause she won't model it for you. Ta-da! She's a cutie. But this is our bigger tree of the two, so this is probably gonna take a while to set up. I've got the TV here. I'm gonna put on a Christmas movie. I'm thinking I'll watch Christmas with the Cranks because that's a classic and I love it. I have a few different things of lights. I assume this one's for the big tree, but like I have ooh, this one also and this one. So I don't know where they all go but this is the tree i'm gonna do the lights now which is my least favorite part so i'm gonna get some help from my mum. Okay, this tree is done, but there's still so much more to do. We have to put this garland on the stairs and then put the lights on that. And it's going to take a long time and there's going to be like so many montages of me just decorating. So I'm thinking I'll do the red tree and I'll just show you the finished product. Like I'll finish decorating everything, then I'll give you a little tour of all the Christmas decorations. But I've got 30 minutes left of my Christmas movie and I think I'm going to put that... On while I decorate the other tree but otherwise I will see you in probably like a couple hours once I'm done decorating everything I've just been listening to an audiobook and it's a Christmas one called kiss her once for me I'm about two hours in right now but I'm gonna wrap some Christmas presents got my wrapping paper out I did put together the second tree and I've decorated that but I'm not gonna actually show everything finished until all of it's done like the stairs I can't do the stairs on my own so I'm gonna need to find some help but I'm going to wrap presents I do have like these gifts that I'm going to be giving the kids that I babysit so I'm gonna wrap them I'll show you what they are let's do it here are all my gifts I have these mini Lego things it's a whale um, some Lego friends. I think it's like a pancake shop. This emoji guessing card game where you have to like guess TV shows based on the emojis that's given. A scented mystery squishmallow. And a book about well dressed dogs. Where they're like all in like little outfits. It's cute. So those are all the gifts. I do have some chocolate stockings as well. And they're always hard to wrap. So I'm not looking forward to that, but these things I feel like will be easy. I like wrapping boxes. That's my favorite thing to wrap. Yay, that's one thing wrapped. I'm going to do a little time lapse and I might actually go get my headphones and audio book back because it'll be good if I can finish that. And I do have another Christmas book that I'm planning on reading as well so that I can talk about them both. It is a couple days later now. I have finished decorating for Christmas, so I will show you all of that now. So first we have the stairs with the little garland on and the stockings. Then we have this light that's really giving Narnia. It's from Costco, but over here, a little table with some ornaments on. Then here is the gold tree that we decorated together. And 
here is the red tree that I didn't show decorating. And there's me in the reflection of the TV. Um, but over here we have this reindeer which actually sings as well. And here is Phoebe saying good morning. She is the cutest ever. I did just film a YouTube video as you can see. It was last week's video which was my five star book predictions. So there you go. If you haven't seen that go check that out. But I wanted to say I did finish reading my audiobook of Kiss Her Once for Me and I have not gotten very far in Wreck the Halls because I had to actually stop reading this so I could finish the audiobook because I was getting confused at what was happening in which book. I've just put you down over there so that I can actually talk about this but why were both of these books kind of both motivated by money and both had mothers that weren't really involved in the daughter's lives. Like I was confused. I was like what's happening in each book. So I did stop reading this so I wouldn't be as confused but for this book I don't actually know what to rate it. I haven't actually done my review on Goodreads or anything and it's been like a whole day but I'm thinking a three stars. I liked it but I didn't love it but I'm actually going to check what the average rating on Goodreads is because I feel like I remember hearing people liking it. The average rating is 3.89 which is quite high. I don't know I think I was just expecting more because obviously it's been out for a year so lots of people had talked about it already and this is by the same author as The Charm Offensive which I believe lots of people also liked so I was kind of expecting big things. It was cute, don't get me wrong, but I just didn't really love all the characters. And because Ellie, the main character, does like comics and stuff, on the audiobook format they were like describing what was happening in the comics. I don't know if in the actual physical book you get to see the comic strips that she was drawn because that would actually be super cool. So like let me know if you read it in physical format and there is some pictures because I'd love a good picture moment or if they're just like talking about the comic as well. But I feel like it would be cool if they did have that. But anyway, that is my thoughts on Kiss Her Once For Me. As for Wreck The Halls, I am 52 pages in, so I'm up to chapter five. Um, it is interesting, let me just say that. I will have to say though, I'm not loving the main character's names, especially the male main character. His name is Beat. Beat, like, like, d -d 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 Beat. Right, musical beats, not like beatrets. For children of band members, I think it's a bit on the nose. Like I know it's meant to be like that and it's kind of like a gimmick or a joke or something. Beat and melody. I don't know, but so far what's happening is they're trying to get their parents, which are enemies, they were in the same band, but now they don't like each other. But the kids, Beat and Melody, are trying to get their parents to come back together and do a band reunion and go on tour and stuff. I don't know how that's all going to work out, but we'll see, we'll see. I mean, it could be promising. It's set in New York City, which I do love a book set in New York, so I'm hoping for good things. I just hope I don't get cringed out by Beat and Melody. Like, what kind of names is that? Beat? I just, I can't. Anywho. But I'm going to read some more of this now um, because later today I'm actually going to do some putt putt golf with my friends, which is going to be super fun. Um, and I'm not very good at putt putt, but I will try my best. So I'm leaving for that in about 30 minutes. So I'll get in some reading and then it's time to go. <laughs> We're at the mini goal. Woohoo! Ruby's putting. Wait, I didn't count. Oh no! Oh, How many did you get? Okay. <laughs> got two holes left of this round and then we're gonna do another round of 18 but it is so hot out right now I'm sweating I am not lying right now but I got a hole in one yes and we have, we have witnesses we witnesses oh my gosh I can't believe I wasn't recording that we're in the car we finished our what's it called putt-putt mini, mini golf um Mackenzie came first I came second Ruby came Fair third enough. it was a close game I came back on that second game I won that second game but when they were added all together I came second she's a winner Woo! we are going to have lunch now yay I'm back from putt-putt now it's a long time after actually it's 
4.30 now. I'm not really doing much else. I should probably be reading Wreck the Halls because I want to finish that before I finish this video. I'm probably going to start editing this video that I filmed today though and then I will do some reading. Hopefully I get through more so that I can actually give you an update on the Christmas books. Hello! It is Black Friday today so I've just come back from the shops. I did quite a bit of shopping. I bought some gifts for my mum. I bought also a gift for a friend but I'm not going to show it in this video in case she's watching right now. So I'm not going to spoil the surprise. But of course if it's my mum's presence I can see what she's watching and I won't let her watch it. So I got something from this brand. I don't know how to pronounce it but it's French. So um, I, it's, it's wrapped nicely because the lady asked if it was a gift so she put it in this little bag which is super cute so I won't have to wrap it but I can't show you what it is either. But it was this um, lotion which smells really nice. Um, it's citrusy it's lemon scented so it's really nice and of course there was some sales on so it wasn't as expensive as it usually is anyway and then I also got some samples with it I got this shower oil and a night serum I went to Glassons and I bought something for myself because of course like the Glassons t-shirts which are quite similar I don't really know because I haven't ever had one but like quite similar to the Skims t-shirts but I got a blue one because I don't have a blue one. I have a grey one, a white one, a black one and a pink one. But now I have like this navy-ish blue colour. So we got that. Which is good because I kind of needed more t-shirts for Japan. Um, I was like, I don't have a whole lot. So I'm going to be wearing the same things over and over again. But speaking of Japan, I did get um, this little bag from Kmart that has these bottles that you can put stuff in. So for like shampoo and conditioner and stuff. And one of them actually has a pump, which is quite good. And then it also has a funnel that comes with it, which will make it easier to put in the bottles. And little tubs, which I can put like my eye creams and stuff in there. So that's good. And it also has a bag as well. So that'll be really handy. And then also from Kmart, I got some more gifts from my mum. I noticed recently that they have like new puzzle books, like how they have the word searches and the crosswords. But now they have a Wordle one. So I did get one of those because my mum loves doing Wordle and now she'll be able to do extra. And then I got a 2024 diary for her which has this super cute pattern on it with some flowers. So I think that would be nice and it's a weekly one, not a daily one because she does prefer week to a double page. So we did get that. I do want to try and get something else but I'm not too sure what else she wants. But I'm going to wrap all these now. And because they're going to go under the big tree, they're going to be wrapped in gold wrapping paper. And I also do have some gold ribbons that I can tie them up with as well. So I'm going to do all that now and then we'll put them under the tree. Okay, I've finished wrapping my presents now, as you can see. And I did put like these little cards on, which I think are so fun. And I also put on some ribbons. I think it looks super cute. So I'm going to put them under the tree now. But I'm probably going to end this vlog here because I don't even think I'll have time to finish this book in this vlog. I'm just over halfway through and I'm liking it. So I'm hoping it won't go like downhill all of a sudden whilst I say like it's a good book. I think it'll be good to read this Christmas. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I am going to end the vlog here because tomorrow, really randomly, really last minute, I'm going to the Paramore concert, which I'm so excited about. Like literally cannot wait. I don't actually think I'll have time to finish that book so there's no point in waiting to finish the vlog but we've wrapped gifts we've read a Christmas book and we're halfway through another 
and we've decorated. I think we had a great time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below because I do post new videos every single Saturday, so you do not want to miss it. But I will see you next week with a new video. Goodbye.